Good afternoon, MMA fans. This is just my picks and predictions for UFC Fight Night 117 in Saitama, Japan. Main event is headlined by Shogun Hua versus Ovin St. Pru in a rematch. I am just only going to go over two fights in this entire card the reason being is because the other fights I just do not have enough info on I was earlier trying to film myself making an analysis of Takanori Gomi versus Dong Yoon Kim but I had no luck seeing as I cannot figure out who's gonna win and making a picker prediction is just gonna look bad on my part even if I get it right, it's just going to be a guess, and I do not want to guess. I want to give some good, solid picks and predictions. So I'm going to go off with the co-main event right away. Uh, Jessica Andrade versus Claudia Gadea. Based on recent performances, I'm going to take Claudia Gadea in this fight. I liked how she looked in her last performance. She submitted Carolina Carolina, the, the, the challenger to Joanna Janshekic. I'm not going to try to pronounce her name. I cannot. Unless I'm reading it, but I don't have it in front of me. So I'm going to go with Claudia in this fight. I know that Jessica Andrade came off of a very tough fight, a tough five round war with Joanna Janshekic. But she did not look very threatening in that fight, if I, if I do remember. Even though my memory is kind of failing me on that fight right now. I think just the image of Claudia Gadea winning that last fight really sticks to my head. But I think a more accurate prediction would be that this fight probably will not be finished before three rounds. I think this fight will end up going to decision. And seeing as how impressed I was with Claudia in her last fight, I'm going to go with Claudia Gadea by a decision. It could be close, but I'll go with Claudia. And then in the main event, we have Ovin St. Pru versus Mauricio Shogun Hua. Mauricio Shogun Hua is on a three fight win streak against Little Nog, Corey Anderson, and Gian Volante. Ovin St. Pru just ended a three fight losing streak. Where, where he submitted Marcos Rogerio de Lima. I'm going to go with Ovin St. Pru in this rematch. I think he is still levels above Shogun. Ovin St. Pru's three-fight losing streak was to John Jones, Jimmy Manuel, and Volkan Ozdemir. I think all three of those fighters would smash Shogun. Steroids or not. Uh, late notice or not, I think all three of those guys would, would smash Shogun at this point. And Ovin St. Pru didn't do too bad against John Jones or Volkan Ozdemir. He did get stopped and knocked out by Jimmy Manuel, but Jimmy Manuel has some ridiculous power. Over a five round fight, I am choosing Ovin St. Pru to stop Shogun again. Ovin St. Pru does not go to decisions very often, and I think he's definitely still got enough in him to stop Shogun before the end of the contest. I don't think he's going to end in the first round, like in the first fight in Brazil where Ovin St. Pru landed a left hook early on and knocked Shogun out. I think Shogun's definitely going to come out much slower, much more intelligent, and not throw his chin out there for, for Ovin St. Pru to, prack, to crack <laughs> right away. So... I'm going to go with Ovin St. Pru in this fight by TKO, probably third or fourth round. And other fights on the card that are interesting, like I said, I was trying to analyze the Takanori Gomi vs. Dong Yun Kim fight <laughs> before, but I cannot figure out who's going to win that fight. It's a retirement fight for Takanori Gomi against a guy who's just not looked very good in the UFC. I know he's coming off a of win, the Dong Yun Kim guy. The, the 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 crappy version of Dong Yun Kim, not the not the not the stun gun, and no offense to the guy, but 
and neither of these guys have been looking good. And I used to be the biggest Takanori Gomi fan back in the day, but when he decided to not take fighting seriously or come in lazy, then I basically lost my desire to watch that guy fight or be a fan of his. Another fight that's going, another fight that's probably catching some attention is the Gokan Saki fight. I think he's fighting a Brazilian guy. I just don't know enough about these guys. Sorry, I mean, the the amount of time I want to invest into to watching every no-name fighter is just I don't have that kind of time anymore. Back in the day, I did, but at this point, I'm not interested in staring at fighters who may not have much of a future and just are fight fillers on UFC cards. So this Gokan Saki fight is pretty interesting. I definitely will be keeping my eye out on it. Every other fight, I will probably not watch at all or just catch later on. Yeah, so those are my predictions, picks and predictions. Claudia Gardea by a decision and Ovin St. Preux by a late stoppage. All right, so those are my picks. Please leave your own and please discuss the other fights that I haven't mentioned. All right, well, have a good day. Take care.